Okay. I decided to put the holes into the slides and then transfer, use transfer screws to transfer them to the plates. And I decided to wait on the plates, uh, milling the angles on the plates because it'll give me something better to push against. So, so here's the first one. And I'll take it apart. And that over there. And the slide over there. And this is the side that's got to go up. Down in there like that. Nice up, and I need to get a little more room here. 440 screws that I'm going to use. Okay, and then take that end mill out, put my edge finder in, and there was a question about my edge finder, and uh. I made it myself in an electronic edge finder so when the tip touches something it lights up. And what I did was I made it myself. I turned turned it or I turned rough turned everything and then I set it up in uh, actually cylindrically ground the two diameters and what it looks like Basically what it looks like in the inside is that pin That's the first that's this pin it, get, it gets pressed in about 600 thou It's pressed in and then this shell That fits around it Wrong. It gets pressed into a phenolic, non uh, non conductive material. It gets pushed into a sleeve, and then that is pressed into the shell of of the. And then the inside looks like this. We're looking at a section view. That's what a section view looks like. And then there, and then down here, I drilled four holes through. And what sets down in here is an LED. And what I did was I took this is a big this is a naturally a big version of it and the LED light and the two wires that come out I took the one wire came around went across went across the top of it so it made contact with that that end and this one and this is covered with heat shrink and this one make contact with the battery that's in there. I've got two batteries in there. And they're not stacked uh, in series, they're stacked in parallel, the three volt uh, pancake batteries, you know, or watch batteries. So, and they're fitting inside a plastic tube. That's what you see in here, the plastic tube, and I didn't get, the holes aren't lined up right now, but it didn't matter, I could see right through that plastic. The plastic tube is just to, to uh, keep the batteries and everything from touching the sides. And, okay, so those fit down in there, and that's down inside here. And then I have a plunger 
that fits in there with a spring on one end and that plunger makes contact with the back of this battery and then the end has a 3A16 I think it's 3A16 I can't remember what thread I put in there whatever thread you can get in there um, and uh, that pushes that pushes uh, against everything so you got the you get the LED in here with the wire going around and making contact with this and then this LED here or this wire here I just I think I put a, just a blob of of uh, solder on it just cuts and uh, the other wire for the LED has peach rink on it and then the battery and this is the positive side of the battery I think that's what I did and like I say I've got two batteries in there and there are th there are three volt batteries and uh, you could you could actually make this on the lathe if you're really careful. <clears throat> you just gotta turn up this old the, the shell and press the phenolic in there, and the pin is oversized, pressed into that phenolic, and it's oversized so that you can turn or grind this concentric to the to the body of it. They're they're really simple to make, especially if you got a, a cylindrical grinder. I mean, they're really simple. I I made a whole bunch of them, and uh, and I you know and I made this before they came out on the market, and this is a boughten one. <laughs> this is a boughten one here. Did they copy my? Did they copy mine? <laughs> you know, and and like I say, I made these. I made those before, before I even seen these, or I don't know if they were even on the market at the time. So, and then theirs has an incandescent bulb in it, not an LED. I put it went. I I originally when I first made them, I had incandescent bulb, and I changed it to a LED when I. back long ago <laughs> that's the same thing as um, that's the same thing as my height setter I see them on the market now but they're one or two inches tall and I want or not one inch they're two to three or whatever they're, they're pretty tall and I wanted one exactly one inch tall and I made the it, the inside of it's made similar to to uh, and and when the tool you bring the tool down and it touches and it lights up and it's spring loaded so you can bring your tool down the moment it touches it I have the drawings for this available for the the high setter I never did make the drawings up for this I'm I, I what you see here is about the most of drawing that I've made um, I was always going to and uh, I just never did I just I did it uh, with a sketch <laughs> it was just a sketch on a piece of note paper that I sketched up and made but I'll tell you what uh, this is my actually my go-to edge finder <laughs> Um, I like it better than you'll see me use that a lot anyway enough of that I hope that explains it to you but if not you can message me and maybe I'll make up a drawing for it let's get down on this here And pick up this back edge uh, 
Oh, I got the wrong side up there. That's the wrong side up. You got to do the right side. It's the side that has a distance here. There we go. Let me see here. I just want to make sure because some of these had some of some hanging out. like that this is the side up okay it goes this way it doesn't go that way it goes this way oh I milled the did I mill the wrong end well, I put the chamfer on the wrong end. I had this uh, this end backwards because it actually should go this way. So I will have to cut a chamfer on that. That's no big deal. Just put the chamfer on the wrong piece. But we'll put that in here. that see this side has a room to have put a screw in all right now pick up this edge I know that they came out now with with an edge finder like similar to this with a ball and I was always gonna make one like that you know, if you just take a chamfer the end of that of this and put a and put a hole through it and put a, a small spring holding the ball up into that cone, then you can not worry about over travel, you know, over running it. And I was always going to make one like that, but I never did. This one works just fine. Careful with it, and as long as you're careful with it. Take this in 100 thou and zero that. Now I'm going to go in the center of this. So it's 125, that's 250 thick. Really beautiful day outside today. Alright, now let's pick up this edge over here. Bring that down. Come over and touch. there zero my X move over 100 zero that now I want to go over three quarter of an inch I believe there's some 50 Yeah, I think I'm going to go 700 instead. Seven hundred. Edge finder out. And put the guard on it so it doesn't get run the battery down. Drill chuck. Okay, drill and tap a 440 hole right there. I'm gonna move you over a tish here. Small center drill. I'm 
Actually, I think I'm going to use a small spot drill. Spot drill instead. Then the 440 tap drill size, uh, number 42. Tap handle, it's a tap. Ugh. Put that in here. Yeah, definitely got to get a a new tapping disc or whatever you want to call it made this the knurling is <laughs> pretty smooth got much knurling left on it oh, take the drill out Bring the quilt down a little more. All right. Now those are, I think they're two and a half inches, right? Yep, two and a half inches. So I want to stay 700 back. So 500. So one inch 800. Move over one inch 800. So to the mark, one inch 800. There's one inch. I'm trying to get them equally spaced is all.
right? Now, I want to move in 250 to put it in the center of the, the rail. So that'll be 375. Okay, then I want to put it in the center of the rail that way, which is about 300. So the center of that would be 150, so 500 subtract 150, 2 inches 500 be, and I want to go 150 over, so it'd be 350. Three fifty. Is that right? Does that look right? It looks right to me. Then we'll move over here, 150 in, and do one on that rail. Okay. Okay, we'll move over to 150 mark. In five, four, three, two, 150. Pookie, pookie, pookie. He's out and about, so he must be feeling all right. He has his days. Some days he doesn't want to do anything. He just lays in there and doesn't really watch me, come out and watch me. And then there's other days he'll come out and watch me, and meow at me, and beg for food, <laughs> which then I go give him some food because... I know he has a hard time eating, so if he's begging for food, I go get him something. He stinks, though. He's a stinky cat.
hand's starting to get a cramp. I don't have enough neural on here to make it easy. Okay. Too smooth. God, it's been years since I made that that uh, tap handle. I made that back in. Well, does that work? Because I didn't like I didn't like breaking off little taps and then having to go to the EDM uh, machine to have them burnt out. <laughs> All right, so there's one done. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to 440, 440 uh, transfer punches, transfer screws, they are in this box somewhere. My old that's off the seat of my old Yamaha. <laughs> I was the first one in town to have a Yamaha 1100. Gave it to my nephew. Six thirty two, ten thirty two, eight thirty two. Oh, don't tell me I don't have any 440s. Doesn't look like it. Does not look like it. I thought I had a set of 440 also. Let's go looking in, the, in here. Maybe I. Threw them in beside. Nope. Nope. I don't see them. I have some screws in here that are probably 440. Nope, those aren't 440 also. I might have to make a set. Just take some uh, set screws and put some points on. And then I'll set it down like that, like that, and then I'll just try and just smack it up against there to make the marks. Well, darn it! Um, so then on that, I could have went to a bigger screw. I don't. Well, no, I don't want to go to a bigger screw. So, all right. Well. I guess that's where I'm going to cut out today and, and leave it at that. Okay, so I don't have 440 uh, transfer screws, but I will have. I just ordered them off of eBay, a set. And total was just under just under 20 by around 20 bucks. So for this set, I see that uh, they do have. Um, on eBay they have the entire sets. Well, I don't need an entire set of and their entire sets are I'm looking 41 bucks 41.59 for a 25 piece set. 1024, 832, 632, and 440s. So, and here's another set, 11 bucks plus 10 ship, shipping, 21 bucks. About the same price as I just paid. So, anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and finish drilling, and I'm going to hold off on the transferring to the plates. And I'll probably, when we come back, I'll probably be doing some single pointing. And uh, we'll wait for the transfer screws to show up. So, I could have swore I had a set. I know I had a set. I just, I probably lent them out to somebody at work and never got them back. 
That has happened. And that has happened a few times. But I'll get a set. Have a set. Got to have a set. 440 is pretty common size for me. I use that a lot. I can't believe that I haven't ran across that yet. So, so I'm gonna, like I say, I'm just gonna go ahead and and do the 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 mate to this one and uh, and do the compounds the same way. And uh, when I get that done. We'll head over to the lathe and we'll do some single pointing for the thread, for the um, slide drive or slide screw. So, until then, I'll catch you guys later.